All right, guys, it is time to add this second muffler. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, we finally got muffler number two in here. Now, I know I've made a video, and you guys, I've had so many of you guys tell me, no, the opening is supposed to be towards the front, and, or no, the opening is supposed to be towards the back. So I figured out, and for you guys saying, look at the arrow. There ain't no damn arrow on these things, guys. Um, even before it was painted, you know, I looked at the first one, because I already got one in my truck. We're adding double. Now, a lot of you said, uh, you know, it's gonna get built up full of soot in there. We're gonna pull off, and I know right now I've already figured out because on Spencer's truck, we put the openings right here towards the back. So this way, so here's the rammer. The openings would be towards the back of the exhaust. And his is way quieter than mine. So what we're gonna do now first is we're gonna get on the creeper here and we're gonna jump under here <clears throat> we've loosened all these up so these this right here the opening is facing the driver's side so all of these are loose the only issue that i'm going to have what i see here so i'm going to put the one here and the other muffler is going to go right here we already measured we have room the problem is i have to make me new um new brackets here to hold up the muffler because see these are rounded right here just for this you know this exhaust this this portion i should say so it's not uh, shaking and moving like crazy so we gotta uh pull these pull this off but we're gonna pull this out and i'm gonna see what it looks like i want to see if it's just plugged solid full of soot or not well look at the muffler took the old one off so it doesn't look like the holes are plugged solid not sure why it's so black though that's uh Hmm, that's weird. Something must be wrong with the uh, DPF back kit under there, but we'll, we'll take it to the dealer later to check it out. But, so, we're going to now flip it and put the holes facing towards the back of the rammer. And then we'll start the, trying to figure out, you know, measuring and cutting for the new muffler. See, here's the uh, original. There's a new one. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now, I don't know how well this is going to perform because what I notice so you see here how it's got and it could be just all black but I don't I don't even see any it's it looks like it's just completely gone you can see and what I'm talking about is the see all this like uh, I don't know, this wire I don't know if it's wire right in there see the wiring right here let me try to focus it for you see that wiring in there well this one looks like it's empty I can see a little bit down below. So not sure how well this is going to perform. Now, I'm gonna put it back on anyways because the truck is a lot quieter when I originally put this on. So we're still gonna put them both on, but um, you see this has got a lot of, of this wire or mesh or I don't, I don't know really what it is. It looks, or steel wool maybe, I wonder if I can. Yeah, can't fit my finger, but I don't know. This, this, whatever's in here, it's, it's gone. So it could be all burnt up. Um, that's probably another reason why you want to face this backwards and not the, or face the whole opening backwards and not forward. Okay, we got one there. We got one here. So I'm going to now cut this. We got a measure. So we're going to take the measurement, measure from here to here. So we want it inside good, no leaks. And we're going to slide that piece in and we're going to have twin mufflers so you see here holes facing backwards right there you go see that holes facing backwards so we're going to go head over to the bandsaw cut it and then mount this up and we'll do a startup and see uh what it sounds like because i did do a video guys when i did the original muffler this one before and after and honestly at startup I did not notice a difference. I'll be completely 100% honest with you guys. I did not notice a difference at startup at all. So the holes, open holes facing that way, it, it did get rid of a little bit of the drone, but not fully, but it didn't really quiet the truck down. And, and I'll explain to you guys why I'm not, you know, why I want it quieted. I'm not trying to uh, cause attention. Okay, got it mocked up this little line right here. We're going to, I put this, piece of metal right in here 
All right, well, because what happens, it's gonna pinch this and it's gonna tweak it. So, I'm hoping, yeah, there you go. See, it's tight, that's still loose, so it's gonna stay nice and straight. So let's bring this thing down real quick here. All right, I'll stop it right there. We gotta come way forward. So we're gonna loosen this bad boy up. Come forward a little bit. Oh, we're stuck here, bring that forward. Actually, remember, remember guys, measure twice, cut once. Uh, I measured again and I had that muffler, back muffler pulled all the way so far back so it's gotta come forward. So if I cut it at that foot mark, um, it's gonna hit. So I took exactly one inch. I know no big deal, but I want it perfect. So uh, we got our big one inch in here. It's nice and tight. We're gonna kick on the coolant. Coolant's on. That's one thing I hate about this machine. I love it and I hate it. The coolant is a freaking mess, so I barely crack it. You see that? It's supposed to be way open over there. I don't do that. I do just enough to where it's just getting the blade wet. All right, now we will adjust it here to cut. Oh, all right. Now we're going to let her eat. Keep it slow. There we go. All right. Well, now we just sit and wait, boy. All right, nice, clean cut. There's very little burr, so I like to, uh, oh, grab that. I like to take my uh, little handy dandy Milwaukee grinder here. And uh, I'm gonna just clean up a little bit, just right on the edge. I mean, nothing crazy, but I wanna make it nice and clean. All right, here it is, guys. So it's not the final. Obviously, gotta put all the pieces back here, but what I like to do is make sure See, there's no, no hole, no gap here. That's why I made it a little longer. See that? So it's shut. I mean, not that it's a big deal, but you could get some soot and it, it would just bother me. So once these are all buttoned up, see, it's going to be like that. And then we're going to make the uh, hangers. I'll make another hanger for right over there and another hanger for this one over here. All right, boys. We're all buttoned up here. So there's our, uh, turn the light on here. There's the, uh, we're going to fix these, push them back so they're all even, but got the little piece in here but we don't you see here so we don't have right here see the hangers so we're gonna do one here boom one there now I mean it's not loose but you see how there's if I if I push let me see you got one there but dude so it's getting it moves a little bit but I'd rather just have it you know supported anyways I mean I don't know makes you sleep better at night okay double muffler is done I'm gonna set you guys, I'm gonna try to set you guys right on the, uh, this oil change box here. Just did an oil change on the rammer. Uh-oh, leaking oil, that's not good. And if you're wondering, I run the Rotello T6540 full synthetic. Hey, how you doing, man? You want me to blow it up? What, yeah, what do you want me to do with that? I want you to blow it up. What, then what, then what? Then tie it in a knot. No, I don't think you tie it in a knot. No, I'm tie it. And then what do you do with it? I mean, don't tie this and blow it up. And then what do you do with it? Then you sit on it. Okay. test is going to be I'm gonna jump on the freeway and get it you know I'm gonna let it sit at like that 2100 you know that's where it starts getting really droney um, so I'm gonna jump on the freeway accelerate that'll be a, a, the, the actual true test because honestly right now it doesn't sound any different uh, you know I can't I, I don't know I faced the uh, you know the holes back so 
I don't know, driving currently right now sounds no different. As of right now, I'm gonna tell you, do not buy a second muffler, because it ain't doing nothing. Uh, but let me, you know, let me see what the drone does. That's that's my main concern. If it's a little loud like an idle right now, like where you can hear still the rumble, that's perfectly fine with me. It's no uh, big deal. But let's see, you know, what happens. We're about to jump on the freeway. I think this Ford is just the fastest the seat can go right here, so I'm gonna have to wait. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe I'll give him a little push. Maybe the ram, or let me let me ram him a little bit. Give him a little help here, partner. I think that metal that he uh, put on top there's a little too heavy for him. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, guys. Come on, blast the comments. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. Here's a test. Let's see if this thing drones like crazy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, dude, really? Mr. Penske over here. Can't go any faster than 30 miles an hour. Okay, well, I mean, nothing yet because I'm not up to speed. Okay, here we go. All right, let's accelerate a little bit here. anything when we shut it off nothing same thing so <laughs> I don't know guys <laughs> don't uh, don't waste your money well there you have it guys that's my uh, my honest truth for you right there is um, two mufflers I don't care what anybody tells you and all you guys told me put the holes opening back I did that um, you know didn't like I said, so a lot of you guys said that, so I did that. Um, but the double muffler, don't waste your money. You know, it, if anybody tells you, oh, it made a huge difference, bullshit. Bull, doesn't make a huge difference. Didn't even make a difference. It just, honestly, if you add one and then put one on and tell me, okay, which is which, I wouldn't be able to tell you. And I drive this truck every day. I, you guys know me. I'm anal about my stuff. I know everything at what RPM and it did not do a damn thing not even at startup still sounds the same so um i would just put your one muffler or go get your uh, resonator i heard resonators do good but again like i told you earlier i don't know about the whole horsepower thing so let me know comment down below guys but that's all i got for you guys thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button don't forget to click subscribe peace yeah